Hey dudes and dudettes, it's Summer4590, and today we're gonna be cruising with this totally tubular game, Super Mario oh, Sunshine. No, no, no. Hey man, out, I was just out. getting started. I've had it with these no, alternate wait, personalities. Out, out in bro. the attic. No. Out, out. Phew. Well, I'm glad I got him out of here quickly. I mean, did you see that watermark? Ridiculous. <clears throat> Take two. Hey guys, it's Turner4590, and welcome to the middle child of the 3D Mario series, Super Mario Sunshine. Um, so this is the only one I haven't actually covered on the channel yet, and um, to be honest, it's not my favorite, but it is uh, it, it's the last one we have to do besides Galaxy 2, which is just more Galaxy, so uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so... Um, First off, I just want to address the elephant in the room. Um, I actually have never 100% of this game, and today will not be the day because I will not be going for all this, all these shines in this game because of it's. I'd argue it's the most frustrating in the series to actually get all of them, even more so than like the green stars from Galaxy 2. Um, it's just very frustrating because of blue coins in this game. Uh, to the point where I've never actually done it before. I think I've actually gotten more than 82, but not on this memory card. Excuses, excuses. Um, but yes, I will actually just be going for the, uh, the end of the game. Which isn't actually a set limit of, uh, shines that you need to actually get. It's actually, you need to fill requir requirements, actually, to unlock the final level instead of just hitting a shine amount. Uh, but I'll get into that when I get into that. So for now, we'll just start a new file. Actually, I just want to point out how cool this file select screen is. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, I've always actually really loved this file select screen. Anyway, let's get started. Oh boy. That guy won't get annoying very quickly. Oh, where are we heading off to? Oh, we brought Toadsworth along for the ride, but not Luigi. <laughs> He's too busy busting ghosts. Ooh, look at that! So pretty. Welcome to the sun-drenched tropical paradise of Isle Del Pino. Ooh, I like We're the looks so of this place. Welcome you to our beautiful home. Come enjoy a natural wonderland to which we've added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, Ooh. and succulent seafood. Oh. All this and more <laughs> on Isle Del Pino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. Hey, what the? Features like a look of complete shock. Nope, too busy think thinking about the succulent seafood. <laughs> oh well, this definitely won't get me kidnapped again. Dolphins? Am I crazy? Was that a JPEG? <laughs> Come on, the GameCube could do better than that. We're about to crash. Ah, what the heck is that? What happened? What's this icky paint-like goop? It's moving. Now, now, boys, don't catch that. <laughs> I should probably also address the fact that yes, you are hearing full voice acting in a in a main Mario game. <laughs> yes, this game uh, is weird in a lot of different ways, even extending into the gameplay, as you'll see. 
Okay, well, the, the heat is obviously getting to the princess because she's seeing things now. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. Hey! Okay, so now we're into the main gameplay of it all, and first off, um, I want to point out that this game's movement mechanics are, like, really free-flowing. Like, um, you definitely have the most amount of movement options in this in this game, uh, in any other game in this in the series. So 64, Galaxy, um, 3D World, if you want to count that. You have so many ways of movement in this game, especially when we get the main mechanic um, of the game uh, coming up very shortly after we talk to these toads. Yeah, no problem. I'll do my best. Oh, I thought he... Oh, God. Am I... There's... Oh, thanks. Uh... Oh, I thought there was a toad melt melting in the goop, but it was just... Like, it was just the toad's face behind one of the bubbles, so it made it look like it. Yeah, I know, it's goopy. Well, let's see if we can clean it up somehow. Worst vacation ever, I know, right? Yeah, no problem. And uh, speaking of melting in the goop, uh, yeah, that guy is definitely dead. <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you. Of yours? Hey, watch the accusations. Anyway, let's just move on with the plot, shall we? Preparing to register customer information. Scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. Data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash wow. liquidizer. Open the government has the whole, the whole, the whole file on us, basically. No, oh, that's a good fit. Proceeding with user instruction. Use the R button to shoot water from my cave. Okay, then. If you press the R button all the way down, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the control stick to aim in any direction. I press see. the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the R button to hover in the air for a short time. You can't skip this, by the way. So, I, I, even if you don't want to see this, like... Uh, even if you know how the game works, too, too bad. <laughs> it's okay. This is the only time the game loads cutscenes on you, thankfully. That's not true. But there definitely are front-loaded, so don't worry about it. I, I'm gonna pass on that. Okay, sweet. So yeah, so the main mechanic of this game um, is actually uh, cleaning up uh, gunk, basically. So basically, uh, like Flood just told us, uh, if we use the R button, we can just spray water. If we click down the button, we can aim the nozzle. You can also go into first person to aim the nozzle. There's also uh, there's also cool mechanics like um, like I don't want to spray that actually just yet. Uh, I'll just give give me a second. Um, but yeah, basically, like you can clean off like paint like this, like M's, and usually cleaning off M's will get you stuff like coins and stuff, or blue coins, or just things. Things. There's lots of things in this game. Hey. Okay, so, uh, but there's also cool mechanics like this where, uh, if you're spraying, if you hold R and then press A, like that, you'll do a big spray, and that's actually, it, the game never tells you about it, it's probably in the manual, but it's actually insanely useful, like, throughout the course of the entire game, and we're definitely gonna be using that when necessary. Anyway, Goopy Piranha Plants! These things always creep me out. Um, basically all you have to do for these is... Insanely simple, basically, do they just open their mouths a little, and you spray in their mouths a little, and it's done. Like that. Easy peasy. <laughs> that was kind of a lame effect. A shine! Yay! Hands down the hardest one to get in the game, and we just got it no problem. Hey. Can I, like, go home now? I've cleaned up the, the strip. 
I was gonna go someplace after I said that, but never mind. Shine get. Oh, it's just shine in the English version. Damn. <laughs> in the Japanese, it's shine get, and I, I love it. I think everyone loves it. Anyway, um. That's first shine. Oh god, it's the fuzz. Damn. That might be the fastest game over I've gotten in a Mario game. Court is now in session. I wish. I'm sure someone's already made a crossover of Ace Attorney with just this scene. That's a lot of casualties. <laughs> How can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. <laughs> Just like Ganondorf planned. Has arisen because all of our guardians, the Shine Sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the Shine Gate. The reason? Oh, that the uh, paint over the eyes always creep me out, and like the little blotch underneath, where there's the space where there's no ink, always looked like a mouth to me. So it looked like it's like a black-eyed, like screaming mouth face, and it always creep me out. <laughs> that would have been a good time for his attorney music. <laughs> Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Damn. Court adjourned. Probably should have gotten a better defense attorney. <laughs> we just rot in jail. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution. But the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? Mm -hmm. It is a shine sprite. The MacGuffins! The sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the shine gate. It'd be cool if shines came back as like a power source in like a later Mario game. Like a main series Mario game, that'd be pretty cool. Because I've always liked the design of the shine sprite. Just really cool. It's like a star and a sun. The it's the point. To ensure the return of the shine sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. I'm calling it now. It has to be Luigi. He's the only one who looks like us. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve Or Mr. The L. <laughs> Mr. L would do evil things. No, I would not. <laughs> and remember, we'll be watching you, pal. We'll the voice acting is questionable in this game. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, now main t on to the main gameplay. Uh, this is uh, your hub world for the game, Delfino Plaza. It functions basically as the Peach's Castle or the Common Observatory, except it's much, it's, well, not really like the Common Observatory, but more a lot like Peach's Castle, where this is the gateway place where you're going to find all the entrances of the levels and a ton of secret shines all buried throughout uh, Isle Delfino. Um... But yeah, right now we, our main mission right now is to just clean up this thing, so let's uh, do that right now. Can you see how insanely useful the shotgun blast is, by the way, <laughs> which the game never tells you about? Again, it's probably in the manual. Um, but yeah, like, the a range of movement in this game is really insane, because, like, you can do... You have abilities like the flip, and uh, you, al you also have abilities like the side flip and the spin jump, and all the abilities from 64 are back. Uh, wall jumping, of course, um, and you can wall jump in any direction, too, so you can do crazy wall jumps like that, um, up crazy surfaces, and you know, with Flood, you can do a variety of things, like, you can do this, this really cool trick where basically you just spray water, and then you can do this slide 
and gain massive amounts of momentum, and that's actually a really fast way of movement. And you can just do cool, cool stuff like this, and like, just, it's really cool. It's definitely the most free-flowing of the Mario games. Um, definitely the hardest, uh, out of all the Mario games, hands down the hardest, I'd say, just from a control standpoint. Um, just because it's so free. Um, anyway, so let's start, stop beating around the bush and actually, uh, spray down this guy. There we go. Another one of these piranha fights. There we go. It's very, very easy. Uh, now we have these, uh, these squid things about to attack us, but they're really not that big of a deal. You just, uh, spray them like that. Oh, the GameCube rumble! I forgot how satisfying it is! Um, who are you? That's a creepy face. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love just the full sprint charge, and Peach does nothing, even has time to graffiti his own name! Anyway, so, Shadow Mario Chases, uh, this is a staple of the game, and we're gonna be doing these a lot, and pick a- throw away the banana, Mario. Okay, so basically all you have to do for Shadow Mario Chases is just spray him like that. We did- we did that really fast, actually, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, sometimes it takes a while, um, you just have to go have good aim, basically. And, uh, basically, Shadow- well, I'll get into it in a second, but we're gonna be chasing Shadow Mario a lot, unfortunately. Um... Well, let's see if we can chase them into uh, into this place. <laughs> okay, so uh, basically, in the why is the game lagging? That's weird. <laughs> that was a cool jump. It's pretty cool. You have to spray the graffiti, and that acts as like the paintings that you jump into in this game. It's pretty cool. And anyway, here's our actually first level um, of the game, our first main world, uh, Bianco Hills.